Chapter 66, Spiritual Movement Chapter Seated on horseback, Lin Dong involuntarily heaved a sigh of relief when he finally saw the manor appearing in his line of sight. Although bandits were not very rampant on the route from Qingyang town to Yan City, outlaws could still be found here and there. He had frequently heard stories of merchants being robbed. Thankfully, since they had mobilized such a powerful force this time, they encountered little trouble. As they returned with a bountiful harvest, cheers and applause slowly began to sound out in the manor. Lin Dong leapt off his horse's back as he smiled at the red figure that was dashing towards him. The red figure that was dashing towards him was naturally Little Flame. It intimately stroked its head against Lin Dong as it produced a deep purr. Lin Dong smiled as he rubbed Little Flame. Then, he turned his sight to gaze at Ching Tan, who was slowly walking towards him. From his person, he took out a crystal-like bracelet and said, A present for you. Thank you Lin Dong Ji after she saw this unexpected gift. The young lady instantly squealed in delight before she immediately rushed over to receive the bracelet and sweetly thank her brother. Haha, it's getting late. Let's all head back and rest, to one side, Lin Zhentian dismissed the convoy with a wave of his hand as he smiled and said to the crowd. Lin Dong chuckled before he turned to return home. On the journey back, he described the various differences and peculiarities of Yan City to the young lady beside him which caused her to occasionally let out clear sounds of excitement. The dim light illuminated the neat and tidy room. Lin Dong sat on his bed with both of his eyes tightly shut. Simultaneously, he was practicing Qing Yuan arts, which caused in the Yuan power between heaven and earth to visibly ripple as streams of Yuan power began to slowly seep in through his unblocked inner channels before they were subsequently absorbed by his body. This type of quiet training lasted for nearly an hour before Lin Dong gently opened his eyes. He then removed a jade bottle from within his Qian Kun bag. Contained within this bottle, were five light red elixir pills. These were Yang Yuan pills. This time, the Lin family had successfully sold 300 pieces of Yang Yuan stones, acquiring 32 Yang Yuan pills. Under Lin Zhenchen's direction, Lin Dong had been bestowed five of these pills. After all, Lin Dong was the one who had discovered the mining load, thus no one objected to this. The rest of the Yang Yuan pills were split between Lin Zhentian, Lin Xiao, Lin Meng, and Lin Ken. The four of them were at Heavenly Yuan stage, therefore, this kind of Yang Yuan pills were especially effective for them. If they took these pills regularly, it would definitely boost their training speed substantially. Of course, despite so, some of the younger generation members in the Lin family also obtained a few Yang Yuan pills. For example, Lin Xia and Lin Hong both obtained one Yang Yuan pill each. The current Lin family was gradually becoming more powerful due to the existence of the mining load. In the past, it would be unthinkable to hand over even a single Yang Yuan pill to the younger generation. The quality of these Yang Yuan pills cannot compare to those refined by the stone talisman. Lin Dong fiddled with a Yang Yuan pill as his eyebrows slightly furrowed. He then took out the last Yang Yuan pill refined by the stone talisman. Contrasting the two in his hands, the difference between their appearance and brightness was immediately apparent. It is said that one needs to be at Dan Yuan stage before one is able to refine Yang Yuan pills from Yang Yuan stones. However, some powerful factions are able to use symbol arrays as a catalyst to lower the requirements, though the Yang Yuan pills created would be at a lower grade. This must be how these Yang Yuan pills were produced, Lin Dong rolled Yang Yuan pill between his fingers as he muttered thoughtfully to himself. As he thought of these symbol arrays, a thought flashed through Lin Dong's mind. He quickly retrieved the manual that the old man in grey had given him earlier today from his Qian Kun bag. Spiritual Movement Chapter The name of that manual sounded rather impressive. However, after Lin Dong flipped through it, he realized that it was just a chapter on how to train mental energy and it seemed like only the first three parts were contained within this book. Nonetheless, this short manual was pretty valuable and he never expected that the old man would actually give away such a precious item during their first meeting. Basically, seal masters were practitioners who utilize a different method of exerting Yuan power. 
this method needed mental energy to propel you in power. Evidently, this spiritual movement chapter was used to develop mental energy. Lin Dong attentively flipped through this spiritual movement chapter. After a long time, he started to nod his head gently. Simply put, the instructions written on this manual were very cryptic, however, for some reason, Lin Dong was able to comprehend it rapidly. This sensation was as if he possessed natural talent for training in these arts. This discovery caused Lin Dong to become somewhat surprised. He could sense that this kind of talent was perhaps something that he was born with and not something given to him by an external force. This was a talent that was a part of him, but was left undiscovered till now. Lin Dong carefully kept the spiritual movement chapter in his Qian Kun bag. Hesitating for a moment before he slowly shut his eyes, directing his five senses towards the heavens, eyes to nose, nose to heart. Spirit is split into yin and yang, spiritual movement begins with life. As Lin Dong began to recite this mysterious chant in his heart, his thoughts gradually condensed together. Like a statue, he continued in this state for nearly half an hour before his mental energy was suddenly dazzled as bit by bit, his mental energy began to seep out from his mind and slowly spread itself. As his mental energy slowly extended, even though Lin Dong's eyes were tightly shut, he could clearly see his the interior of the room. Then, his vision once again expanded and he found his formless mental energy floating in the sky as every movement in nearly half of the entire manner was reflected clearly in his mind. Mental energy was able to penetrate through every surface and most people were oblivious with regards to the existence of this formless mental energy. Therefore, many of them did not know that their every movement was being spied on now. This magical scene was a totally new and exciting experience for Lin Dong. Compared to Yuan power, mental energy was faintly discernible like mist, however this form of energy truly existed. Lin Zhentian sat peacefully in one of the rooms in the manner as streams of Yuan power continuously rushed into his body. However, he did not remain in this calm state for long as both of his eyes suddenly opened. With a vicious glare, he stared at the air in front of him and shouted in a stern voice, I don't know who you are, but why are you spying on my Lin family? After Lin Zhentian shouted, a powerful Yuan power undulated as it burst out of his body and violently clashed with the air in front of him. Bang! After that formless collision, an extremely soft echo sounded out before it was once again returned to nothingness. At this point, a serious look surfaced on Lin Zhentian's face. The power he had sensed from before should be mental energy belonging to a seal master. However, since when did his Lin family offend a seal master? Could he be sent by the Lei family? Just as Lin Zhenchen's facial expression darkened, in a distant room, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly opened. Even though his face was pale, a look of delight and excitement danced in his eyes. Chapter 67, Ominous Clouds there was no doubt that the Lin family's first successful sale of the Yang Yuan stones had benefited them tremendously. The enormous profits earned was truly jaw-dropping. After all, when they exchanged an entire huge batch of steel wood, they only managed to get around 20 Yang Yuan stones, an amount that was merely equivalent to one day's work at the mining load. It was completely impossible to compare the two of them. Due to this reason, Ever since they successfully sold their first batch of Yang Yuan stones, Lin Zhentian mobilized nearly 70 to 80 percent of the Lin family's manpower to the Steelwood Manor. From the outside, it seemed like he was intending to operate this Steelwood Manor as a major enterprise. The strange movements by the Lin family naturally drew many peculiar gazes. Even though the Steelwood Manor was rich in steel wood, everyone knew that during the handover, the Lei family had devastated a large portion of the soil. Therefore, in the eyes of many people, the Steelwood Manor had already lost most of its value. However, right now, instead of neglecting the Steelwood Manor, the Lin family chose to treat it as a big business. It gave off the impression that the Lin family was focusing too much on the minor details and neglecting the big picture. However, despite all these speculations, the Lin family chose to remain silent. They did not explain nor announce anything to any outsiders. Furthermore, they were able to keep a tight lid on information, 
thus nobody outside of the Lin family knew what they were up to. Of course, despite their best efforts, they were naturally some exceptions. Ching Yang Town, Lei Family In a large hall deep within the Lei family's compound, a dozen or so core Lei family members were seated. Naturally, at the front, was the head of the Lei family, Lei Bao. However, right now his face was dark as if it was akin to the foreboding calm before of the storm, causing everyone around him to be extremely cautious, afraid of enraging him. Father, the information that I heard is definitely accurate. On the surface, the reason why the Lin families traveled to Yan City was to sell steel wood. However, their real motive was to sell off several hundred pieces of Yang Yuan stone. Even though the Lin family had grown over these years, this amount of resources was something that even our Lei family could not easily obtain. How could the weak Lin family accomplish this? Positioned on the left of Lei Bao, Lei Pai said with a bitter expression. What are you trying to say? After he heard about the quantity of Yang Yuan stones, Lei Bao's eyes twitched a little before he quickly questioned. During this period of time, surely everyone has noticed the strange behavior of the Lin family. We are the most clear on the current value of the Steelwood Manor. If Lin Zhentian is doing so much purely for a devastated manor, then he has probably gone senile with age, Lei Pai's eyes circled around the hall as he replied in a low voice. After they heard his words, the rest of the crowd slightly nodded their heads in agreement. A long time ago, Lin Zhentian had come to this town alone and almost single-handedly developed the Lin family to what it was today with his wits and craftiness. Nobody believed that he would attempt such a fruitless endeavor. In that case, since a pointless move, there must be more to this than meets the eye. When they recalled the first batch of Yang Yuan stones that the Lin family had just sold, Many people's facial expression instantly turned a little distorted. If my prediction is correct, the Lin family should have found another natural resource in the Steelwood Manor besides steel wood. And this natural resource is very likely a Yang Yuan stone mining load. Lei Pai's words was undoubtedly earth-shattering, causing the entire hall to immediately turn deathly silent. A long while later, somebody shouted out in disbelief, How is that possible? We have operated the Steelwood Manor for so many years and we have never ever heard of any Yang Yuan stone mining load. We had never properly scout the whole area. Lei Pai's face tightened as he stared at Lei Bao who was in the head seat. After taking in a deep breath, he said, Father, it seems like we have handed over an invaluable manor to the Lin family. Bang! The teacup in Lei Bao's hand was crushed into dust as tea flowed through his fingers. His old and wrinkled face seemed exceptionally twisted and hideous now. Yang Yuan stone mining load, these five simple words caused a major turmoil within Lei Bao's heart. He was aware of the value of these mining loads. If the Steelwood Manor really possessed a Yang Yuan stone mining load, then even if it was a small one, its value easily eclipsed that of the entire Steelwood Manor. Right now, they had handed over such an invaluable mining load to the Lin family. Before this, they were still gloating about how the Lin family had received a manor that had been more than half wrecked. Now, as they recall this scene, all of their gloating seemed completely ridiculous. As they stared at Lei Bao's hideous facial expression, everyone tactically turned silent, not daring to speak. During this period of time, send out every informant and spy that we have and utilize every means to get information on the Steelwood Manor. I want to confirm if there really is a Yang Yuan stone mining load there. After taking a deep breath, Lei Bao's facial expression slowly returned normal. However, the tone of his voice was icy cold, like a blizzard in the twelfth lunar month. In addition, I want to monitor every movement made by the Lin family. If they travel to Yan City again, inform me immediately. Yes. After hearing his command, the core members of the Lei family immediately responded with respectful tones. Then, they exchanged knowing glances with each other and without further ado, they slowly left the meeting hall. As the crowd of people exited, the large hall once again lapsed into silence. With a cold expression on his face, Lei Bao sat on his chair. A long while later, a vicious murmur suddenly sounded out. 
Lin Zhentian, since your Lin family seeks death, don't blame my Lei family for our vicious and merciless tactics. After they smoothly returned from Yan City, the central core in the Lin family instantly shifted to the Yang Yuan stone mining load in the Steelwood Manor. Since Lin Dong could not help out much, he spent the majority of his time training by his lonesome. The current him was focusing on training three main aspects, Yuan power, martial arts, and his newly acquired mental energy. Now, Lin Dong's strength had stopped at earthly Yuan later stage. At this juncture, it was likely that if once again forged ahead vigorously, he would be able to advance to heavenly Yuan stage. However, there exists a large gap between reality and one's expectation. Even though a month had passed since Lin Dong returned from Yan City, his exceedingly hard-working and aid from Yang Yuan pills brought him no closer to the now distant feeling of a breakthrough. This last tiny step felt like a monumental leap that completely obstructed him. With regards to his lackluster progress, Lin Dong felt helpless but he was not too anxious about it. After all, it was no simple feat to progress to Heavenly Yuan stage, and many people had stalled at this step for years. Therefore, he knew that it was too optimistic to expect results after training for a mere month. As for martial arts, Lin Dong was becoming increasingly masterful. The current him was already able to rather easily execute the second chapter of Wonder Gate Seal, in complete volume. Furthermore, he was gradually becoming more proficient with the third chapter too. In fact, since he was at Earthly Yu in later stage, he finally able to start supplying the Yuan power required for the Stone Talisman to perfect the third chapter of Wonder Gate Seal. His Yuan power and martial arts training were all progressing at a steady rate. The only exception was his mental energy training. In this short, short month, Lin Dong could distinctly sense the formless mental energy within his mind throb and pulse and with each pulse, it grow increasingly violent. He had also successfully mastered the first part of the spiritual movement chapter. Furthermore, this remarkable progress was just like a fish learning how to swim and came naturally to him without any external aid. Towards this anomaly, even Lin Dong had no choice but to believe that he seemed to have some exceptional talent in mental energy. Time silently slipped by as Lin Dong quietly trained. In a blink of an eye, two months had passed. Just as that third month approached, a larger transportation crew than before was being assembled inside the Steelwood Manor. When there was movement in the Steelwood Manor, news of this was carried by a little hummingbird to arrive on the shoulders of Lei Bao. Lei Bao retrieved a tiny slip of paper from the hummingbird. After he briefly scanned through it, the corners of his mouth slowly raised to form a vicious smile. Chapter 68, Black Dragon Stockage it is inevitable that this journey will not go as smoothly as the previous one. Based on my sources, this batch of Yang Yuan stones have attracted some hungry wolves, in a large hall within the Steelwood Manor, Lin Zhentian solemnly said with a serious look on his face as he gazed at Lin Xiao and the rest. Oh? Could it be that the Lei family has decided to make their move? After hearing his words, Lin Xiao and the rest's facial expressions slightly changed. Ha! that cunning old fox Lei Bao will not make a move so lightly. Based on my information, the ones who are eyeing our current batch of Yang Yuan stones should be from the Black Dragon Stockage. Lin Zhentian chuckled grimly as he said. Black Dragon Stockage. Once this name entered their ears, even Lin Dong, who was standing beside, could not help but furrow his eyebrows. There were several bandit groups located within a 30-mile radius of Qing Yang Town, and the Black Dragon Stockage was one of the most infamous among them. These group of bandits were reputed to be vicious and heartless and the two leaders in Black Dragon Stockage were reportedly at Heavenly Yuan stage. Therefore, the duo's name struck considerable fear throughout Qing Yang Town. How does the Black Dragon Stockage know that we are transporting a large shipment of Yang Yuan stones? They should also know that our Lin family are tough adversaries said Lin Xiao. In the past, their Lin family had not crossed paths with these bandit groups. Why did the Black Dragon Stockage suddenly decide to target them? Ha <laughs> ha, I suspect that the Lei family may be involved in this matter. Our recent activities seem to have aroused their suspicion, 
Lin Zhentian chuckled as he replied. Father, so what you mean is that the Black Dragon stockage is likely being urged on by the Lei family? To one side, Lin Ken and Lin Mang's expressions darkened as they said. Based on my understanding Lei Bao, this is likely the case. Lin Zhentian lightly nodded his head, however, his gaze gradually turned chilly before he muttered, I will personally take charge of this trip like before. Lin Xiao and Lin Mang will tag along while Lin Ken will stay to guard the Steelwood Manor. I want to see for myself if this Black Dragon stockage truly dares to make a move against my Lin family. Yes. After hearing his commands, Lin Xiao and Lin Mang immediately responded. Dong Yar, you should not follow us for this journey. Just stay still at Steelwood Manor. After finishing his instructions, Lin Zhentian told Lin Dong. A potentially big battle might break out during this trip and even though the current Lin Dong had the strength to protect himself, it would be safer for him to stay in the Steelwood Manor. Upon hearing Lin Zhentian's instructions, Lin Dong could only nod his head. Time is of the essence, I want the two of you to immediately gather up the rest of the forces. Yes. Lin Xiao and Lin Mang nodded their heads again before they stood up and left. Soon after, rumbling sounds of horses' hooves could be heard. The low echoes sounded akin to the arrival of a thunderstorm. Atop the manor wall, Lin Dong gazed at that massive entourage leaving the manor. Under the watchful eyes of the guards, a flurry of yellow dust was stirred up as they sped towards the main road. I hope that you will all return safe and sound. Lin Dong gently sighed. He could feel the tensed atmosphere in his Lin family. Due to that tension, even the younger generation members became more solemn. Fear not, with Grandpa personally leading the way, I doubt that Black Dragon Stockage will dare to attack them. As if he knew his nephew's worries, to one side, Lin Ken smiled as he consoled Lin Dong. Yes. Today, Lin Xia and Lin Hong are both at the Steelwood Manor. You should go and play with them. Don't worry about these matters, the adults will take care of them. Lin Ken patted Lin Dong's shoulder before he turned and instructed, I want everyone to be on high alert. Even if it might just be the wind blowing a blade of grass, sound the alarm immediately. Under no circumstances do you let allow any suspicious looking persons into the premises. Yes sir. After Lin Ken shouted his orders, Several replies from the crowd on the tall manor wall sounded out in response. As the sparkling rays of the sunlight shined downwards, the entire manor went into high alert. Lin Dong leapt off the manor wall, before he walked to a training arena within the manor. There, were Lin Xia, Lin Hong and other younger generation members while some of them were currently dueling with each other. Lin Dong Ji As they saw Lin Dong walk over, Everyone straightened their waist as they excitedly greeted him. Right now, Lin Dong held a significant status in their hearts. Humph, you are really impressive now. In front of Lin Dong, Lin Xia stood with her hands on her slim waist as she pouted and said. Lin Xia Ji, please don't tease me. As he looked at the elegant young lady before him, Lin Dong helpless replied with a pained smile. Had. As she saw Lin Dong's reaction, Lin Xia involuntarily laughed. Then she waved her snow-white tiny hands and proceeded to seat herself on a rock nearby before she continued, All right, all right. I won't tease you anymore. Do you think Grandpa and the rest will encounter much trouble this time? As she finished her question, a look of anxiety surfaced on the young lady's cheeks. She could definitely feel the tense atmosphere in the manor and even though she had always been living under the protection of the family, she clearly knew how vicious these power struggles could be. Lin Zhentian and the rest were the backbone of their Lin family. If anything happened to them, this family would definitely fall apart. At that time, it would be difficult for them to seek even the slightest bit of peace. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. Lin Dong sighed in his heart. He stared at the anxious faces on Lin Xia and the rest of the younger generation members and involuntarily bit his lips. If the current Lin family possessed a Yuan Dan practitioner, they would definitely not have these worries. Simply put, true power was still the most secure currency. After she heard Lin Dong's comforting words, 
Lin Xia's complexion became slightly better. Promptly, she began to tell Lin Dong about some of the events that had occurred in Qingyang town recently. After they chatted merrily for quite a while, Lin Hong, who was nearby, suddenly walked over. He looked at Lin Dong and hesitated for a moment, before he finally said, Lin Dong Biao Di, when I was practicing a martial arts, I ran into some difficulties. Do you think you could help me out? After hearing his request, both Lin Dong and Lin Xia were stunned as they looked at Lin Hong in disbelief. This fellow had always been a prideful individual, therefore they did not expect him to take the initiative and ask Lin Dong for help. Of course, we are one family. Helping each other is only natural. Just as Lin Xia was worried that Lin Dong may reject Lin Hong because of their history, Lin Dong smiled as he gently nodded his head. Upon hearing Lin Dong's good-natured reply, Lin Hong was also slightly taken aback as his face turned red. He was evidently ashamed about his childish acts in the past. Lin Hong Biao Ji, display the martial arts that you are practicing now. Lin Hong hurriedly nodded his head. Taking a step back, he had just positioned himself into fight stance when the seated Lin Dong suddenly stood up. Just moments ago, he was wearing a bright smile, but now his face has turned dark and fearsome. Lin Dong, what's the matter? As she saw his sudden change, to one side, Lin Xia was also shocked as she asked. Trouble. Lin Dong sucked in a deep breath. Without bothering to explain, he immediately turned and swiftly ran towards the entrance of the manor, before finally jumping onto the manor wall. As he stared into the far horizon, he could see that at the end of that large road, a huge storm of yellow dust was suddenly swept up. Thunderous sounds of horse hooves spread out like a wave towards them. What is that? Behind him, Lin Xia, Lin Hong, and even Qing Tan followed. However, as they stared at that yellow dust storm, a look of alarm immediately flashed on their faces. It's the men from Black Dragon Stockage. We have been tricked. Their target was not the Yang Yuan stones that Grandpa was delivering but rather, the Steelwood Manor. To one side, Lin Dong had a dark look on his face as he clenched his fists so tightly that crunching sounds could be heard. This time, if things were not managed well, their Lin family would suffer tremendously. Chapter 69, Calamity On the manor walls, when Lin Xia and the rest heard Lin Dong's words, their expressions turned white as sheet. Currently, most of the experts in the Lin family were out protecting the shipment. With Lin Ken left as the only heavenly Yuan stage practitioner in the Steelwood Manor, how could they possibly fend off the Black Dragon stockade? Just as panic set into their hearts, Lin Ken swiftly dashed up to the manor's wall. As he stared at that menacing yellow dust cloud, his eyes twitched and he promptly commanded, Everyone, full alert. Swish swish. After they heard Lin Ken's orders, everyone in the manor instantly went into emergency mode. Some of the guards left in the manor immediately drew their weapons and hastily ascended onto the manor's wall, staring nervously at the approaching dust cloud. As the yellow dust cloud approached, a black banner vividly appeared in front of everyone's line of sight. Revealing the picture of a menacing and murderous giant black dragon. It's indeed the bandits from Black Dragon Stockade. Upon seeing the banner, Lin Dong and the rest involuntarily clenched their fists. Looks like we have fallen into their trap. It is likely that the information father received was deliberately leaked by the Black Dragon Stockade with the intention of causing our Lin family to dispatch a large amount of skilled members to protect our cargo. Meanwhile, they plan to attack our now vulnerable Steelwood Manor. Lin Ken said with a heavy voice. What should we do now? Lin Dong asked. It seemed like many of the bandits from Black Dragon Stockade had come. Could the guards in the Steelwood Manor manage to hold them off? I have already sent word to the Raging Blade Dojo. We only need to hold them off for a while before reinforcements will arrive. Lin Ken replied. After hearing these words, Lin Dong softly heaved a sigh of relief. It seemed like the Lin family was not completely unprepared. Haha, <laughs> Lin Ken. It was not easy for us to finally meet each other, surely you won't turn me away now. Just as Lin Dong sighed, 
the sounds of horses' hooves gradually died down as the yellow dust cloud slowly began to settle. A hearty laughter rang out as two black horses stepped forward. Seated on the horses' backs, were two people. The person on the left, was huge and muscular. His had the back of a tiger and the waist of a bear, yet a simple and honest smile hung on his face. Only people who were close to him knew that he was a despicable and vicious person. Truly worthy of his infamous title as the vicious wind ripper Wu Shat. The other person looked comparatively smaller and leaner. He did not have any unique facial features except the numerous blade scars that filled his face. This man was the real leader of the Black Dragon Stockade, Yan Kuo. The duo's horses strode forward and behind them stood hundreds of bandits from the Black Dragon Stockade. Right now, they were slowly spreading themselves out. Their sabers and blades gleamed with a cruel and menacing light. Meanwhile, a tense atmosphere of a looming major battle shrouded the Steelwood Manor. Yan Kuo and Wu Sha. Both leaders of the Black Strong Stockade have arrived. As he gazed at the two of them, Lin Ken's heart sunk. The two of them were true Blue Heavenly Yuan stage experts. In particular, Yan Kuo had advanced to Heavenly Yuan middle stage, the same level Lin Ken was at. Yan Kuo, Wu Sha. Our Lin family and your Black Dragon Stockade have never crossed paths. Aren't you people being too overbearing today? Lin Ken shouted while waving his hand, signaling the guards standing at the perimeter of the manor as they immediately armed and readied their bows. Ha <laughs> ha, the two of us have heard that there was a great treasure hidden in this place. Therefore, we decided to check it out for ourselves. Brother Lin Ken, why must you be so nervous? The Lin Yan Kuo casually smiled as he answered. If you make a move against our Lin family, your Black Dragon Stockade will definitely regret it. Lin Ken's face instantly took on a sinister look. Right now, his Lin family had four Heavenly Yuan stage practitioners, hence if they really wanted to exterminate the Black Dragon Stockade, it would not be an impossible feat. Humans will die for money, just like animals will kill for food. Bandits like us are always prepared to die at any moment. I know that your Lin family is not weak. Ha <laughs> ha, however if you exterminate us, someone else will naturally finish you off. No matter what, our Black Dragon Stockade will loot clean your Steelwood Manor today. Yan Kuo released a weird laughter as he suddenly drew a huge saber that was strapped on his horse. Then, he kicked his horse and abruptly dashed forward. A thick Yuan power gathered on his giant saber as he swung it towards the Steelwood Manor's huge entrance. Lin Ken was enraged by Yan Kuo's unreasonable manner. The former randomly grabbed a spear as his body zipped through the air to intercept Yan Kuo. Clang clang clang. Sparks violently burst out in the mid-air as a powerful explosive force spread out at the epicenter. Finally, the two of them were forcefully pushed back. Ha ha, wonderful. However Lin Ken, you are the only heavenly Yuan stage practitioner left in the Steelwood Manor today. You may be able to obstruct me, but you cannot stop everyone else at the same time. Wu Sha, lead the rest of the men in. Yan Kuo exclaimed as he straightened himself on horseback. With a weird laughter, he forcefully thrust his feet downwards. Resulting in a powerful impact that caused the horse's hooves to shatter instantly as it neighed before falling on the floor with a thud. Ha ha, good. Brothers, follow me and charge. In response to Yan Kuo's words, Wu Sha's lips split open as he let out a hearty laugh. With a wave of his huge hand, he immediately took the lead and led the forces from the Black Dragon Stockade as they ferociously charged towards the Steelwood Manor. All Lin family guards, attack. After witnessing this situation, a murderous intent flowed in Lin Ken's eyes as he sternly shouted. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Atop the manor walls, many of the Lin family guards began to let loose their arrows. Sounds of arrows piercing through the wind sounded out as they flew towards the Black Dragon Stockade bandits. Instantly painful cries followed. The smell of blood slowly began to seep throughout the Steelwood Manor. Upon seeing these murderous Black Dragon Stockade bandits charge at them with no regards for their own lives, the younger generation members turned pale. Evidently, 
this was their first time witnessing such a scene. In contrast, an extraordinary Lin Dong seemed pretty calm when faced with this situation. All the training that he did during this period was very effective. Such bloody battles no longer caused him to feel any unease. As she gazed at the approaching Black Dragon stockade bandits, Lin Xia involuntarily gripped onto Lin Dong's arm. Right now, he had become her pillar of support. When the Black Dragon stockade bandits rush in, everyone must take care. Ching Tan, I want you protect them together with little flame. Lin Dong said in a low voice. Upon hearing these words, Ching Tan, who was standing beside him, gently bit her lips as she nodded. Currently, she was the fastest person that had advanced to earthly Yuan stage after Lin Dong. Furthermore, Lin Dong had personally taught her an array of martial arts. Therefore, discounting Lin Dong, she was definitely the strongest younger generation member. As Lin Dong quickly instructed them, the Black Dragon Stockade bandits had already reached the point just outside of the Steelwood Manor's front entrance. Seeing this situation, Lin Ken's face turned pale and he quickly maneuvered to try and intervene but a sudden powerful attack was directed towards him, causing him to hastily retreat two steps. Ha, Lin Ken. Now it's time for us to duel. The person that had dashed up the manor walls was naturally Yan Kuo. With a smirk, Yuan Power gushed up the giant saber in his hand as he swung it at Lin Ken, causing him to be unable to do anything else. Bang! Outside the manor's front door, Wu Yun also jumped upwards, a vigorous Yuan power burst out and undulated on his giant palms. Like a thousand-pound rock, they slammed heavily on the thick door. Crack! The giant door fell, the steel wood manor's front entrance was directly broken with one palm from Wu Shat. Instantly, the black dragon stockade bandits flooded into the manor like a tide. Attack! Upon seeing the bandits burst into their manor, the head guard of the Lin family immediately shouted out. Had. However, just as the shouted rang out, a muscular figure immediately dashed towards them. Wu Xia's callous smile rapidly enlarged in their eyes as a palm attack was finally directed towards them, causing them to all fly back, violently spitting out blood. With Wu Xia's heavenly Yuan stage strength, he rampaged among them like a wolf in a flock of sheep. Because of this fact, the morale of the Black Dragon Stockade bandits rose as they dashed, eyes full of battle lust, towards the surrounding Lin family guards. Haha, a bunch of useless morons think they can stop us? This Lin family is nothing. Wu Sha cruelly wounded several guards and arrogantly laughed, a look of disdain on his face. What should we do? What should we do? That fellow is too strong. With father stuck in his own battle, there is no one left to stop Wu Xia. As the sight of Wu Xia easily ripping through the guards filled their eyes, Lin Xia and the rest turned pale. Just as she finished her words, she could abruptly sense a figure beside her swiftly dash forward and his target was actually Wu Xia. Lin Dong. As they stared at that young man's back, Lin Xia and the others uttered in shock. At this moment, even though he was being held down by Yan Kuo, Lin Ken's expression also changed drastically. Chapter 70, Mind Blowing Bang! Vigorous Yuan power burst out from within Wu Xia's body as he thrust out his palm, causing the Lin family guard before him to spit out a mouthful of blood, while being thrown backwards. Wu Xia once again laughed maliciously as he lifted his leg and ferociously stomped down at another terrified guard's head. If this attack went through, the guard's brains would be splattered on the spot. Swoosh. However, just as Wu Xia was moments away from stomping down, a whistling noise suddenly sounded out. His hand quickly moved as he caught the broken spear that came hurtling towards him. Wu Xia lifted his head, only to see a thin figure of a youngster calmly standing at a distance away. That boy's eyes were tightly locked onto Wu Xia. Ha <laughs> ha, this Lin family is truly pathetic. To think that they'd send a brat who is still wet behind the ears. Did they think that I would be merciful towards children? Casually tossing aside the broken spear, Wu Xia kicked away the guard at his feet before he turned and smiled maliciously at Lin Dong. Young Master Lin Dong. 
the surrounding Lin family guards hastily shouted out upon seeing this scene. Qin Ying, who had accompanied Lin Dong several times, swiftly charged forward with some men to stand in front of Lin Dong, and block Wu Xia away from him. Leave quickly young master Lin Dong, Wu Xia is at Heavenly Yu in early stage, we will not be able to hold him off for long. A small smile formed on Lin Dong's lips as he looked at the Lin family guards in front of him. They were willing to risk their lives to ensure his safety. Yet, he did not comply with Qin Ying's words. Instead, he stepped forward and said, Uncle Qin Ying, bring your men to deal with the other Black Dragon Stockade bandits. I will stop Wu Xia. Upon hearing these words, Qin Ying and the rest of the Lin family guards immediately turned pale with fright. Though they wanted to try and dissuade him, they suddenly saw waves of vigorous Yuan power start to bubble forth from within Lin Dong's body. Earthly Yuan Late Stage As they felt this vigorous Yuan power, Qin Ying and the rest were once again shocked. They never thought that Lin Dong had actually managed to reach this stage in less than a year. Don't worry. I won't intentionally seek my own demise. Lin Dong smiled at Qin Ying and the rest, then, without further ado, he strode forward and stopped right in front of that big and burly Wu Xia. It was definitely not easy to advance from earthly Yuan stage to heavenly Yuan stage. Even after three months of tough training, Lin Dong had yet to feel any signs of a breakthrough. However, although he had not reached heavenly Yuan stage, it did not mean that Lin Dong was completely powerless before Wu Xia, even though the latter was already at Heavenly Yu in early stage. That was because Lin Dong had absorbed the special yin energy from Qing Tan's body, hence the Yuan power in his body was incomparable to a normal person's. Together with his proficiency in martial arts, matching up against a Heavenly Yu in early stage expert was not an impossible feat. Earthly Yu in late stage Astonishment flashed across Wu Xia's sinister face, as he gazed at the youngster before him. He never expected that this youngster in front of him could advance to such a level. It seems like a genius was unexpectedly hidden within this Lin family. According to this brat's growth, it would only take one or two years at most for him to reach Heavenly Yuan stage. It is also possible that he might even become a Yuan Dan practitioner in the future a malicious glint flickered in Wu Xia's eyes as a murderous intent gushed in his heart. Since the Black Dragon Stockade completely turned the Lin family into their enemies today, if the Lin family produced a Yuan Dan stage practitioner in the future, it would undoubtedly be a disaster for them. It would be best to eliminate the possibility of such a disaster as soon as possible. With these thoughts in mind, the sinister look on Wu Xia's face turned even uglier. He looked at Lin Dong with a grotesque smile as he muttered, Though I've killed many people, I have yet to try killing a genius like you. I wonder what it will feel like. Bang! Barely after these words left his mouth, Wu Xia's body violently charged forward. Vigorous Yuan power condensed in the hollow of his palm as he ferociously swiped at Lin Dong. Chun Yuan Finger Faced with Wu Xia's attack, Lin Dong's expression turned serious as the Yuan power in his Dan Tian rapidly converged. Finally, his two fingers slightly curled and like a resplendent ray of light, they forcefully jabbed towards Wu Xia's palm. Bang! Finger and palm clashed together, emitting a wave of Yuan power which spread out like a ripple, blowing the crushed and broken rocks on the ground away. Deng Deng! Though the contact only lasted a split second, Lin Dong rapidly took a few steps backwards before forcefully stabilizing himself. On the other hand, Wu Xia was only pushed half a step back. The superiority of Heavenly Yuan stage was clear as day. There's something weird about this brat. Though he was only forced to take half a step back, Wu Xia's expression gradually turned somewhat worried. In the brief exchange earlier, he had distinctly felt an extremely cold yin presence within the other party's yuan power. That thread of cold yin had penetrated into his body, corroding it from within. If he had not already assimilated yang energy in his body, Wu Xia would have been caught unprepared and end up slightly disadvantaged. Something unexpected may happen if I wait, it's best to finish him off immediately. An icy light flashed in Wu Xia's eyes his already huge hands unexpectedly expanded as vigorous Yuan power swiftly bubbled out. 
then, the sole of his foot pushed off the ground, the strong force directly causing a crack to form on the ground, as his body borrowed the resulting momentum to arrive in front of Lin Dong in a flash. Wind Ripping Hand Wu Xia's massive body practically eclipsed Lin Dong as the dreadful power in the former's right palm abruptly exploded forth. In that instance, it was as if the air had been ripped into two. The sharp sonic boom spread out with a woo woo sound, causing the surrounding onlooker's expression to change drastically. The ear piercing sound reverberated in Lin Dong's eardrum. At this moment, he sensed extreme danger. Both his eyes were glued onto the palm that was rapidly enlarging as he frantically pulled out the Yuan power that was stored in his Dantian and directed it towards both his palms. In response to Lin Dong's frantic actions, the Yuan power in his Dantian was quickly exhausted. It's not enough. Upon sensing this, a slight madness crept into Lin Dong's eyes as he gritted his teeth and let loose a low roar in his heart. The two Yang Yuan pills which were previously hidden beneath his tongue were straightaway swallowed into his body. As the two Yang Yuan pills entered into his body, a pure medicine power speedily proliferated throughout his body. At the same time, Lin Dong also increased the output of Qing Yuan art to continuously absorb the Yuan power between heaven and earth. With this two-pronged approach, the undulating Yuan power at Lin Dong's palms grew more and more violent as his hands quickly formed a series of seals in succession. Wonder Gate Seal First Chapter, Second Chapter When the seals reached the second chapter, a fierce look flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Without stopping, the seals once again continued to change. Die Brat! The dreadful force contained within the palm had almost reached Lin Dong. In that instance, Lin Dong also lifted his head, as the changing seals came to a halt. Then, his hands maintained a mysterious seal position as they generated an exceptionally vigorous Yuan power to forcefully clash against Wu Xia's palm, under the horror and amazement of the surrounding onlookers. Wonder Gate Seal, Third Chapter Lin Dong Nearby, Lin Xia and the rest shrieked as they saw this scene, their faces deathly white. Bang! A screech rang out as a powerful gale originated from their point of contact, causing a layer of broken rocks to be forcefully swept up and violently shot outwards. Such a violent clash straightaway caused the entire chaotic scene to lapse into silence. Even the intense battle between Lin Ken and Yan Kuo on the manor wall came to a halt, as each party withdrew a few steps back and turned their gazes towards the commotion. Boom! As their gazes darted over, a figure was suddenly thrown backwards out of the dust cloud before heavily crashing to the ground, smearing an unsightly trail of blood in his path. Had A mouthful of blood sprayed out from the figure's mouth as he landed on the ground. Everyone's gazes instantly concentrated on his body, the entire chaotic scene turning deathly still in that moment. Disbelief colored their eyes. This was because the seriously injured and hideous person lying on the ground was not Lin Dong, but rather the second in command of the Black Dragon Stockade, Wu Xia. Qing Yang Town's infamous Heavenly Yuan stage expert had unexpectedly lost to Lin Dong. One could do nothing but admit that this outcome was way too mind blowing. <laughs>